most important job in the world, parent. And one of the toughest ones. All right, now, moving on to chapter, sorry, lesson six, thin lenses. So these are notes. Because we're doing some drawings, I don't want to see them again. No, a thin lens. Now, curved mirrors. Oh, I'm supposed to give you a quiz in this book. Okay, so describe quantitatively simple optical systems consisting of only one, only one component for both lenses and curved mirrors. Now, many optical devices, including microscopes, telescopes, binoculars, LED projectors, and your own eyes contain lenses. Unlike mirrors, lenses refract light instead of reflecting it. A lens is said to be thin if the width of the lens is negligible compared to the focal length of the lens. If the lens is thin enough, the lateral displacement of the refracted ray can, can be ignored. So if you want to see more on that, figure 13.58 in your textbook. Now, there are two types of thin lenses we'll be studying in Physics 30, convex and concave. So a convex lens looks like this, and a concave lens looks like this. Now, convex lenses converge light inward to the focal point F, called the principal focus in Pearson. If you go on the internet and do some research, or Khan Academy, they might call it, uh, oh, there's other words for it, but we call it the principal focus. These are also called converging lenses, because the convex are the converged light. I'll show you how and why in a moment. Now, concave lenses diverge, spread out light. The refracted rays of divergent light appear to be coming from the focal point F after passing through the lenses. These are also called diverging lenses. So the refract Ugh, try that again. The refracted rays of divergent light appear to be coming up. So if you think back to mirrors yesterday, you had the focus, the light appeared to go through them. Now, forgot to do the three rules, but we can do those now. Sorry. Like with curved mirrors, thin lenses have a principal axis set of curvature focal length. They also follow similar, similar rules for creating images. So the rules for the lenses are, one, rays that are parallel to the principal axis are refracted so they appear to pass through a focal point. Rays that pass through the focal point are refracted parallel to the principal axis, and rays that pass through the optical center of the lens do not refract. So this is a whole lot like curved mirrors, which is why we don't spend a lot of time on this. So if I have an object here and say this is my focal. Now, the thing with, with a lens is you can have a focus on either side because light can go through. Unlike a mirror, you have a focus on one side. Because the light can go through, you have a focus on either side. And of course, this is the center. So the three rules are. Charlize, can you read the first rule for me? The focus. So if you're going straight in, the focus is on the other side of the lens. Lloyd, what is the second rule? Parallel principal axis. And Charles, the third rule is? Keep on going in a straight line. So we get our image here. Now what can we say about that image? Inverted, smaller, larger, same size. Smaller. I think it's smaller, and it's actually real. I will give you magnifying glasses in a minute. We'll play with that. Now, concave lens, the exact same thing. We have our object. I should label this object. Object. And focus. Focus. So, what's the first ri first rule again, Charlize? So it appears to go through the focal point. Now, a 
What is the second rule? Is it Charles or Lloyd? One of you gentlemen, what's the second rule? Uh, raise the capacity of focal points to Light ray that goes through, appears to go through the focus, gets refracted parallel to the principal axis. And the third rule, Charles? Uh, raise the passive so if we had your eye out here, this ray appears to come from here. This ray appears to be coming from here, and this light ray goes straight through. So where do they all meet? Right here. So you have your image. So this image is smaller, erect, and it's also virtual. It's the same side of the lens. So in a few minutes, we'll get out the lenses. Now, oh, that's what you're asking. Okay, yes. So you couldn't see an image for this? Well, no. What happens here is the lens. So your eye is on one side, and the object is usually on the other. Oh. But of course, we'll be doing some. Just some. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Examples. So. Nope, while the ray passing through the center of the lens is not that helpful with dealing with curved mirrors, it comes in handy for some situations with lenses. So note and use all three rules. Now, when constructing an image from a ray diagram, please only use two of the three rays listed. As I said, unless you're really careful and really lucky, the rays won't quite line up. Now, the same equation we use for curved mirrors to describe image characteristics are also used for lenses. The only difference is the conventions we use for positive and negative numbers. So once again, 1 over f equals 1 over di plus 1 over do. H hi ho equals minus di do. Same difference. f is positive for convex, negative for concave. Distance is positive for real images and objects, negative for virtual images. h is positive for erect images and negative for inverted images. Now, complete the following ray diagrams and calculations. You need to extend the principal axis in the diagram templates below. Yes? Oh, sorry. Too fast? Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Lloyd. Farther? Uh, well, I don't know. I just need to get blocks. All right. Sorry. Going kind of fast. My apologies, guys. Now may I continue? All right. So, a convergent lens is a focal length of 3 centimeters. An object 0.5 centimeters high is placed at a distance of 4 centimeters from the lens. Draw a ray diagram. <coughs> so, draw a ray diagram. Now, you want to get out a ruler and measure 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters, that's fine. But take a, Or you can take a moment to go, okay, I'll call this 3 centimeters, so that's the focal length three centimeters that way. An object half a centimeter high is placed a distance of four centimeters. So the object is here, and it's going to be quite small. So draw a ray diagram for the image and determine the distance. So let's do the ray diagram first. So which two rules do we use? Doesn't matter. Which two do you want to use? All right. So parallel to the principal axis, gets refracted, it goes to the focus. Now, here's where I do wish I could use a straight line ruler here. It would make it would make my drawings better. But with micro squish it's and the smart board, they he's whatever. I'm not gonna start ranting ranting. And uh, Charlize, the you said the first two rules? Okay. So the second rule is a light ray that goes through the focus, gets refracted as though parallel to the principal axis. Okay, so I've got to extend this out. And my image is over here. And that's not a very good drawing. Straight across. That's a little better. Oh, you bakcha! Oh, you are 
Stroke to get me here. Yes, yes, yes. Fingers crossed. Okay, so my image is here. Now, off the bat, what can I say about that image? Inverted, size, larger and real. Now, determine the distance to the lens and the height of the image. So, 1 over F equals 1 over D O plus 1 over DI. You guys plug those numbers in. I'm going to dig out some lenses for you. So I'll leave this here so you can concentrate on this. Stay. Distance to the object is four centimeters. What's the distance to the image? Guys, I want to grab the box of prisms, not the box of lenses, so go to plan B. Take this out, play with them. What's your height? You have a lens, take it out of the package and play with it. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, as I saying, here we go. Everybody open your baggie. Save the baggie. Don't tear it. If you can open it. Yes, it is a painful. I managed to rip mine. Anyway, life. Now, what are we getting here? 1 over 3 equals 1 over 4 plus 1 over di. So what are you guys getting for distance to the image? Sorry? I got 12. Yes. So, thank you very much. Well, one third minus one fourth, 0.3333 minus 0.25 should be positive, shouldn't it? So, looking at this, four, eight, twelve, not the best drawing, but could that be 12 centimeters? Oh, wait a minute, that's three, six, nine. That's pretty good for my drawing. I agree with that number. 12, inch, uh, 12 centimeters. Now, uh, height of the image. 
What's the formula for that? M equals hi ho minus dido. Now, did I, I gave you that formula, didn't I? Yes. Now, remember, minus means in, inverted and all that crap. Anyway, so hi, we don't know. What's the height of the object? Minus 12 over minus, oh, sorry, plus 4 is negative. I'm hearing negative 3 and 12 divided by 4. Negative 3. So hi is minus 3 times 0 0.5 minus 1.5 centimeters. Now, I fully admit, as I said, I didn't do a good drawing, but minus means inverted and larger, because the original object is 0.5 of a centimeter. And looking at that, yeah, three-ish times bigger, and upside down is reasonable. Not perfect, but pretty reasonable. Now, part B. The object from part A is moved to a distance three centimeters from the lens. Draw a ray diagram for the image and determine the distance from the lens. Ugh. The distance from the lens to the image and the height of the image. So what do we know? Yep. Everything's the same. So there's the object. What are the three rules? Well, what's the first one? Light ray parallel to the principal axis gets refracted through the focus. The second rule, a light ray through the focus, I can't use because we're at the focus. What's the third rule? The light ray going through the center keeps on going. What can you say about these two light rays? Parallel. parallel. No image. Whenever you get to the focal point, things get weird. Now, Charlize here, one, oh, so one of you guys has a converging lens like this. So play with it. And look what happens when you get to the focal length. Yeah, it gets like upside down. Yes. Now, that is a con diverging lens. Here's a converging lens. So play with that, then hand it to Lloyd and let him play with it. This way. Okay, so no image. Now, the object from prior days moved to a distance of two centimeters from the lens. So if my focal length is three, my image is at two. What am I gonna? What's gonna happen? Well, what are my three rules? Principal axis is refracted through the focus. Can't go through this focus and get refracted, so I have to do the third rule, goes through the center. So what happens to your poor confused eyeball down here? Well, since Charlize has the, the lens, image back here. Now, this is the same size of the lens as the object, so this is virtual. Erect and larger. So we've turned this into a magnifying glass. Now, who has that lens? Oh, hang on, does everything? No, it's this one. All right, so. Once you get inside the focal length, everything gets bigger. So play with that for a moment, Charles. Come on. Distance to the image and the height of the image. So 
What are we doing here? Well, you've got the focal length, you've got the distance of the image, distance of the object. I need you to tell me distance of the image. Calculate the distance of the image and the height of the image, please. So, three. It's one third minus one half. I think it's minus one sixth. So di minus six centimeters. We're six centimeters on the wrong side of the lens. Same side of the lens makes it virtual. Now, can we figure out the height of that image? Oh, from my diagram. Two, four. Yeah, that's reasonable. Not perfect. As I said, it would be much better if I could use a ruler with this. But anyway, you get the idea. So Lloyd, thank you for volunteering to help me with this one. Actually, no, Charles. Charles hasn't helped me recently. Hi ho over minus Dido. So minus is fixed to right? Yep. Height of the image, we don't know. Height of the object is what? Distance of the image is minus six centimeters. Distance of the object is two centimeters. Oh, sorry, that's minus. Minus minus six. So high over 0 0.5 equals three. So high is what? Okay, yes, sorry, I'm just doing that in my head. 1.5 centimeters, yes, sorry. I was going to say yes. If this, I didn't draw this to scale. If this is a half, yes, it's about three times higher. Which is why you should take a moment to draw a decent uh, ray diagram. All right. I'm going to stop there. Just make certain you guys get caught up. Okay. Two, almost at the end. So a divergent lens has a focal length of 3 centimeters. An object is 2 centimeters from the lens and has a height of 0.5 centimeters. Determine the, distance from the Determine the distance from the lens to the image and the height of the image. All right, so. Yes, we're almost at the end, thank God. OK, so focal length. is three centimeters. An object is placed two centimeters from the lens and has a height of a half. Now, two. Now, yes, that height is a little bit big, whatever. So, what are the three rules for the light rays? Parallel to the principal axis gets refracted as though it went through the focus. Okay. Second rule, a light ray that goes to the focus gets refracted as though uh, blah, blah, blah. somebody who has more better grasp of the English language than that helped me. What was the second one? A light ray that appears to go through the principal focus, gets refracted parallel to the principal axis, I believe. And the third one, a light ray that goes through the optical center, keeps on going. Now, I did all three of them because they all meet up here. Erect, this object, image, virtual, and smaller. Anyone with a divergent lens will see that. So this, you guys have two divergent lenses. Who has the convergent lens? The magnifying. So, right. so more of my glasses. Those are divergent, convergent lenses. Sorry. Those are divergent lenses. So look at the image. What do you see? Yes. Now, look up at me through those lenses. What do you see? Besides the fact Mr. Sutton's half blind, what do you see? Smaller, erect, 
and virtual. Charlize, hold the lens up and look at me. What do you see? Well, or the, the other one, the one I gave you. So am I erect, smaller? I'm smaller, and my image is erect, right side up, correct? Yep. All right. And I also happen to be virtual because I'm on the same side of the lens as you, and it's really confusing the hell out of you. Now, I'm sorry, I need my glasses back because I can't see. All right. Now, so it's always erect and virtual and smaller with a, with a divergent lens. Okay, so now we've got to do the calculations. What's the distance to the image and the height of the image? Now, we know it's from our ray diagram, it's going to be less than 2, and it's going to be a negative number. What is it? Uh, 1 over 3 equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over di. Focal length is negative 3, sorry. Uh, Forgive me. Is it only for if it's divergent and negative 3? Yes. Okay. If it's a divergent, it's a virtual focus, so it's a negative f. Thank you. So that's minus 1 third minus a half. That becomes minus 5 sixths of a centimeter, I believe. But check my bath, because God help me. Way too old for this. Di minus 1.2 centimeters. So if that's 2, yes, 1.2 is reasonable. And negative means it's virtual or behind the mirror. Now, we also need the height of the image. It's going to be small. From a ray diagram, it should be smaller. Hi ho minus di -do. So height of the image. The object is 0 0.5 centimeters minus, minus 1.2 over 2. So somebody do the mathematics and tell me what that is. Makes sense. It was half a centimeter. That wasn't the lens hitting the floor, was it? Long back. Okay. By the way, is uh, Lloyd right? I mean, is he right? Okay. Well, let's just check. Oh, come on. Hi over 0.5 is 0.6. All right. So, got it now? Yes. All right. Dumb math boo boos. Better than smart math boo boos, but anyway. Now, here's a typical question to make you think. Once again, it's not hard once you look at it and understand what they're asking. So a movie camera has a converging lens with a focal length of 85 millimeters. It takes a picture of a 145 centimeter tall man standing 1.6 meters, sorry, 16 meters away. What's the height of the image on the film and is the image erect or inverted? So first thing you got to do is draw a ray diagram. Okay. So.
Yes. So, 85 millimeters, this is 0. Point, what is 85 divided by 1,000? Uh, 0. 0.085. 85 meters. So, F is really quite small. Takes a picture of a 145 centimeter tall man standing 60 meters away. So, 60 meters is way the heck over here. And here's the fellow. Now, I can't draw this to scale unless I have a ruler, and I'm not going to waste my time doing that. But, that doesn't look very much like a lens, it looks more like a flame. Try that again. So that would be this. Oh, you bakcha! That's the center, that's the other focus. Then lens would be like that. So, the three rules light ray parallel to the principal axis, it's refracted to the focus, a light ray to the center keeps on going. I'm going to use first and third. Doesn't matter which two I use, they'll both work. So what can I say about my image here? Inverted. It's inverted and smaller. So this is why we always do a ray diagram. This in case we do a math move, we go, oh, that's wrong. My ray diagram says this, so I go back and check my work. So. We need to figure out, uh, yes, 1 over F, 1 over DI, is 1 over DO. So it's virtual if it's behind the mirror? Uh, sorry, no. Virtual if it's in front of the mirror or in front of the lens. So this is a real focus because it's behind the mirror. Uh, behind the lens, and it's a real image because it's on the opposite side of the lens. If it's the same side, it's virtual. This, you can put a piece of paper here and scan it on. This, or put it on, you can't put a piece of paper here because the light ray is going this way. It's not reflecting back. Take a, you got to practice with it a little bit. That's why we're going to do a couple labs this afternoon. So, height of the image on the film. 1 over F. Now, 16 meters is what? 1,600 centimeters. So 1 over di is what? Now, here's where you definitely need a calculator because I'm not doing this. getting? Charlize, what are you getting here? 1 over 1, 0 decimal 0, 85 minus 1 over 1600 is what? Yes. Times 10 to the... Yeah. Oh, okay. May I see a calculator? Oh, did you? The meter, the 16 is already meter. Yeah, okay, that's what I got. Oh, what am I smoking? Never mind. Thank you, Lloyd. I'm glad one of. No, this is supposed to be. Did we put everything in meters or what? No, it wasn't millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Yeah, okay. So we turned everything to meters. You're right. Thank you. So it would be. So you're right. My bad. Thank you very much. Now can I borrow your calculator? Oh, this way. Yeah, I sure this. Thank you very much. So. Oh, then when you do it right, you're right. Thank you. It's 11.70. Ugh. So what's the inverse of that, Charlize? So it's pretty much right on the focal point, 85 centimeters, or 8.5 8 centimeters, sorry, or 85 millimeters. 
from the drawing is yeah, not bad. Sorry? Doesn't di equal 11.7? No, 1 over di is 11.7. So then you flip it and you get... Because no. then if this is 16 meters, 11 meters is out here somewhere. Okay. okay. Right? Now, here's the problem. I put everything in meters. My example, last time I did it, I put everything in centimeters. But you should get, should get the same basic number units would change. Now, the other question is, what is the height? Height of the image. Again. Height of image. No. One more time. Thank you. Height of image. Height of the object is 145 centimeters. Now, distance to the image is what? Distance to 0 0.085 meters, and the distance to the object is 16 meters, I think. Now, given the way I'm screwing this, this math up, somebody better double check my math for me. What do you get? Well, what is 0 0.085 divided by 16? Sorry? 0.0085. That's it? Yep. Okay. So HI, is, now notice it's meters divided by meters cancel out. So 0 0.0053 times 145 centimeters. So how high is the image on the fill? Yes, it would be. Thank you. Negative zero point. I'm sorry. What, what is Charlie's? Zero point zero. Zero point seven seven. Don't have to. As long as you leave everything in the same units. Ah, oh, okay. So, here I left it as meters because the meters cancel out. Here I left it as centimeters because it doesn't cancel. Out. So 0.77 meters, 7.7 millimeters. The minus means inverted. Okay, so everybody stand up and stretch, and then we'll do the last one. Oh. Painful? Okay, so last one. A diverging lens is a focal length of minus 25 centimeters. Because the focus is on the other, the same side of the lens as we are, it's virtual or fake. It the light ray appears to pass through. Find the image distance when an object is 38 centimeters from the lens. Is the image real or virtual? Always virtual. Let's do a ray diagram to prove it. Twenty-five, five, so something like that. Thank you very much. So something like that is 38 centimeters. Now, as I said, is Lloyd is taking a moment to do this with a ruler. Good. That's quite helpful. So I only need two of the three rules. So Lloyd, so actually Charles, choose one of the rules. One, two, or three. Uh, three. Three. A light ray that goes through the center, optical center, keeps on going undeflected. Um, Charlize, choose another rule, one or two. One. Light ray that goes parallel to the principal axis gets refracted as though it went through the principal focus. Where do these two lines appear to meet? Right here. object we have the image. So it's virtual and smaller. It's always smaller. 
and it's always virtual, and it's always closer to the lens than the object is. Is it also always an F? Yes. So 1 over F, 1 over di, DO plus 1 over DI. So plugging the numbers in. So what are we getting? One over di, and then you're getting di is. What you get? Negative fifteen point zero. Yes. If that's thirty, or or twenty-five, then yeah, that's fifteen is a reasonable number. So that's how it goes, and it's negative because it's virtual or the same size of the lens as you are. So that's it for lenses. Uh, give you a minute to breathe, and then we're going to go on and do some homework in a lab.